Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So in this video I'm going to be taking an old office chair from 1995, a really retro old office chair and the padding's gone a bit flat in it and I'm going to be upcycling it and turning it into a garden chair. So recently I actually used um, two old dining chairs and turned those into garden chairs too. So if you're interested in that video I'll leave a link in the description box below for that one. So I found this old office chair thrown out by some industrial units and it's made by Godfrey Sirit in 1995. I was using it in my workshop for a while but the padding's gone really flat so it's not very good to sit on anymore um, at a desk so I'm going to take it apart and turn it into something for the garden. So I'm just uh, removing the screws here and taking the seat and the back off. Then I needed to remove all the staples that were holding the upholstery on. And I could see that the wood was actually plywood so I could reuse this for outdoors which is great so now I had the two pieces of plywood and I wanted to thicken them up so I've got this old board of plywood that I'm going to use so I'm drawing around the pieces using them as a template and then I'm going to cut these pieces out and laminate them to the original ply to double up the thickness. I used a jigsaw to cut out the shapes. This wood is about 10 mil thick and the original pieces are about 10 mil so that will make it 20 mil thick which is nice and chunky. So to laminate the pieces together I'm going to use some good quality wood glue and spread it all over the pieces. I could then stick the two pieces together and then hold them in place with plenty of clamps until the glue was dry. I then did the same thing with the seat back. So while the glue was drying, I decided to just give the frame um, a new coat of black spray, just to freshen it up. And then once the glue was dry, I could use my disc sander to go around all the edges to make them nice and smooth and uniform.
and that turned out great. So I just want to add a round over to one side of the seat and the back. So I have a round over bit in my router and that will allow the rain to fall off and it will just be smoother and more comfortable. Then I gave them both a good hand sanding to remove any dirt and to smooth them off. For the finish I used some good quality um, oil based wood stain for exterior furniture and I gave the pieces several coats of this stain to give to offer a good protection through the seasons and I also painted the the back as well. So when that was dry I could then get the pieces put back into position and attach them with the, uh, the original screws. And that was the chair all done, ready for garden use. So that's about it for the video. I was pleased how they turned out in the end. And um, I think it was a good idea to add that extra plywood to really strengthen up the seat and the back. Um, the stain that I used came out quite nice. I'm sure they'll last for many years. And it's just nice to be able to reuse something that's no longer of much use. So if you did find this video useful, please remember to like and also consider subscribing for more DIY related videos. And as always, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.